Hello and welcome to week three. You are reading in the Groundswell book chapters six and seven. I have my book here and also in Alone Together, your Ebrary uh, book, you're reading Always On and Tethered. So um, I want to go over a few things from the text, but prior to doing that, I wanted to let you know that there was an interesting program I happened to browse by on TV today that was talking about the loss of handiwork in our society, meaning things that we do with our hands, whether it be crafts or working on a vehicle or cooking or um, detailed painting, you know, watercolors, clay creations, um, those kinds of things are leaving our society and that there's a price to be paid by people because the, the truth is that by not doing that, we don't find our work very rewarding at times. And I found this really interesting. They were talking about our phones being our go-to, that we touch and play with our phones and our computers, but yet we don't do enough handiwork. And there was some research about animals who had to struggle and actually work to get to their food or to get to you know certain places and how that was more rewarding for them and they lived longer than animals who did not. So I just thought I would throw that out there because we are really moving into this day and age where the norm is to be very connected to our devices. And it does take a toll on us. And it's important to keep yourself active, keep your exercise going and getting fresh air and getting out there and interacting with people in person as well as online. So I just thought I would add that and let you know too that should you have any prayer requests, please do reach out. I pray for all my students in general, but if you have specific needs, I'm totally here to pray for you and find that that is is something I can offer. I'm a prayer warrior. If I wake up in the night, I ask the Lord, who should I be praying for? And requests will come to mind that students and others in my church have made, and, and I'm happy to do that. So as you get into chapter six, where they, the author is discussing the groundswell and giving examples. And I really like the diagram figure six one, that is the marketing funnel that talks about eyeballs and awareness, considerations, preference, action, loyalty, and then buyers. That, that I think is interesting. Public relations and marketing have merged some. We still have our distinct roles, but we have merged in the way that we operate with this new era that we're in that um, that had, it really involves so much online engagement. So there are four examples that are described on page 103 where you post a viral video that you engage in social networks and user-generated content sites where you join the blogosphere and create a community and this being a path into a community that it can actually help so much to advance your cause or your campaign or your product, whatever it is that you're promoting. Um, there's a case study about Ernst & Young that I think you'll find very interesting and it goes into why brands should use social network networks and how blogging has paid off. And blogging is huge. So many of my graduates, whether they be BA graduates or masters, have a component of blogging within their job, whether they're doing the blogging themselves or overseeing others who are blogging. So blogging makes a big difference. Um, as you continue through the chapter, figure check out figure 6.2 on social technographics um, and the ROI of an executive's blog. It just really, I find this chapter six and seven to be really helpful. And actually, as you work, this textbook can help you to explain things to people in your organization that may not be completely on board yet with the, the value of social media marketing and social media PR. So I think that energizing the groundswell in chapter seven, as well as chapter six, can really help you to bring that dialogue to those who are owners or CEOs or presidents of organizations. Um, I hope you are finding this class helpful. New Media Strategies is just something that is absolutely part of our repertoire now. It's one of our tools and as you make your way through the text and through the assignments. Do reach out. <clears throat> I have lots of resources I can provide and I'd be happy to provide clarification if any of the concepts that you read this week um, are confusing to you. You have your discussion board here and you also have a reflective essay and you're beginning to work on your case study that is due week six. I've also included a video resource which is the illustrated history of Twitter. 
So I pray you have a great, great, can't, can't talk that well today for some reason, but I pray that you have a great week and that you will reach out if I can be of help in any way. God bless you and I'll talk to you again soon.